Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to center text boxes and labels vertically in Microsoft Access. Today's question comes from Eric in Nassau, the Bahamas, one of my gold members. Eric asks, is it possible to center text vertically in a label or text box? I can do it easily in Excel, but Access doesn't seem to have that option. Well, Eric, the answer is no, but yes. No in that Access does not have that as a standard option like Excel does, but yes in that with a little trick, I can show you kind of how to do it. So let's take a look. Okay, here I am in Excel. And just to show you what Eric is talking about, if you've got some, let's say a row across the top, right? First name, last name, and so on, okay? And you want to make this row tall, maybe give it a little color, right? Let's go with light green, all right? And you want to center these guys vertically. Well, you can center them horizontally like that, all right? And right above that, here's the alignment to go vertically, see? Now, Excel, that's super easy to do. Access does not have these buttons. Okay, so we got to play a trick. And by the way, real quick, when I talk about vertical alignment, I'm not talking about orientation. All right, this is vertical orientation when you actually flip the text 90 degrees. Access can actually do that. I'll show you that in a second, too. All right, I personally don't like the way that looks, especially in forms. If you want to do it in a report, okay, but in a form, no. So let me show you how to do this in Access. Okay, here I am in my Tech Help free template. You can download a free copy of this off my website if you want to. I'll put a link down below in the link section. In here, I've got a customer list form. Okay, now let's say this top row of labels here, you want to do the same thing that we just did in Excel. So go to Design View. Let's make this a little bit bigger. Let's make the form header section larger. I'll just do it with one of these labels first. Okay, now here's a label. Let's say I'm going to stretch it out like this and then make it a little bit bigger vertically like that. Okay. Now, on the Format tab, here's your center and right, but there is no vertical alignment like there is in Excel. So what you have to do is add a top margin. It's like a buffer on the top here. All right, open this up. Go to the Properties. On the Format tab, we're going to scroll down until we find top margin right there. Now it's zero inches high. Now the whole label, you got to find the height of the whole label to get an idea. Here's the height. The whole label is half an inch high, 0.5417. So we got to kind of guess as to how much of a margin, maybe 0.2. Let's see what that looks like. You just kind of kind of play it by ear or by eye, however you want to think about it. So find the top margin property, put 0.2 in there. Let's see what that looks like. That's not too bad, All right? Maybe a little bit less, maybe go 0.15. Yeah, a little bit more, 0.18. Okay, that looks good. And, of course, you have to adjust it based on your font size and all that stuff. All right, when you got something that you're happy with, all right, you could save that. And, I mean, obviously here you'd want to add a little bit of color because if not, there's no real purpose to do that. You could just move the label down. All right, let's go with uh, maybe like that, a little bit slightly different color. Okay, because if not, you could just like stick the label there and no one would know the difference. This really is more handy in Access with text boxes. Let's put this guy back the way it was. Click. Let's go to the uh, Format Painter. Paint that back here. All right, put him back the way he was right here. With labels, it's kind of silly. I, I don't think I've ever really wanted to do that with labels. But let's say your text boxes. You want to make them a little bit bigger. All right, like this. Okay, and we can do the same thing in here. All right, um, I'll just do all of them at once. Highlight them all by clicking there. All right, right click, properties. All right, let's see what the height looks like. The height is 0.41. So we'll go maybe, let's see, top margin. Maybe we'll go 0.18. That's a bit too much. Let's go point, let's just go 0.1. See what that looks like. Okay, there we go. That's not bad. See, now they're all centered vertically. Let's close that and open it back up again. See? And yeah, you could make the, the text box bigger and increase the font size, but if you want just a bigger box, right, and you want to have smaller text in that box, then if that's the look that you're going for, there you go.
That's how you do it. Now, unfortunately, one of the downsides of this is this only really looks good if you have small bits of text, first name, last name, state, that kind of stuff. If you start getting into larger fields, like notes fields, or stuff that's going to wrap onto multiple lines, then it starts to do that. See? It doesn't center itself nicely. You've got that margin then the rest of the text. Now, it is possible to achieve something like a good vertical alignment with some VBA code, as I did here. See that? As I add more text to this box. See that? It's centering itself automatically as the text gets longer. Okay? That requires a little bit of significant VBA code, and I will show how to do this in the extended cut for the members. How do you become a member? Click the Join button below the video. After you click the Join button, you'll see a list of all the different types of membership levels that are available. Silver members and up will get access to all of the extended cut tech help videos, live video and chat sessions, and more. Gold members get access to a download folder containing all the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus access to my full beginner courses and some of my expert courses. These are the full length courses found on my website and not just for access. I also teach Word, Excel, Visual Basic, ASP and lots more. But don't worry, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and feel free to post any comments that you have. I do read them all. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free, and click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Click on the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. You'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted, so if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of building databases with Access. It's over three hours long. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. And if you like Level 1, Level 2 is just $1. And it's also free for all members of my YouTube channel at any level. Want to have your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my Tech Help page and you can send me your question there. Click here to watch my free Access Beginner Level 1 course, more of my Tech Help videos, or to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching this video from AccessLearningZone.com.